what is science and what is the difference between science and philosophy or science and spirituality we have to understand this clearly science deals with the observable universe and material objects only that that is the firm limitation of science only material objects and only the observable universe nothing beyond that so that is science that's what it deals with philosophy deals with the material universe and observable objects but it also deals with non observable objects and phenomena it deals with things like right and wrong it deals with questions of morality and ethics and of non physical objects like the soul and consciousness right so these are things that are non observable non physical by definition the soul is non physical it's non observable right we can't see it we can't measure it therefore it is in the realm of philosophy not in the realm of science it doesn't mean it may not exist but as a scientist i can't see it i can't detect it i can't measure it and therefore i will not talk about it that's what is the attitude of scientists as it should be although if you start mixing things up then you're no longer in one place or the other and similarly the akashic records is something that is in the realm of spirituality which is again a higher it's it's again something that is that is something similar to philosophy i think i'll have to do a separate session in which i i uh, define these things very clearly i will do that but once again spirituality is not part of science right so you can't say that because it is there in spirituality that spirituality therefore it should be scientifically valid no science only deals with physical objects and observable phenomena that's all it is that is a limitation of science it doesn't mean these th- other things don't exist it doesn't mean we should make fun of them maybe they do exist and maybe our science isn't evolved enough like i have been emphasizing repeatedly we know very little about the universe our science is very rudimentary we don't know about how the universe started we don't know what created the universe what impelled the so called big bang we don't know so many things 95% of the universe is dark therefore science has a great deal of limitations our understanding of science is, is even more limited and therefore if one were to evolve and become more intelligent in the future then maybe some of the things that we speak about in spirituality and in philosophy may in the future possibly perhaps some day come into the realm of science if we can observe and quantify and measure these phenomena as of today it is spirituality it is philosophy it is not science and therefore philosophical and spiritual uh, concepts cannot give us answers in the physical world in the realm of the physical sciences so i hope that clarifies the difference between science and philosophy i think it is wrong for scientists to make fun of spirituality or philosophy that is that is the sign of a of a narrow and closed mind but as a scientist you have to deal with the physical and observable universe only and many scientists have spiritual and philosophical opinions and beliefs but as a scientist you don't write papers on spirituality and physics you write papers on science only so i hope that clarifies this matter